Alright guys, welcome to my latest guide. This is for Cryogenic Slumber Party and Big Bang Theory on the Moon. So step one, turn on the power. Pretty straightforward. Do that on every Easter egg, so there you go. Step two, head to the spawn area. There's going to be these four computers. Um, we've probably all played Simon Says uh, in our time. Uh, this is Samantha Says. Uh, just play it on these computers, and when you're done, the screens will flash green. And on the next step, head to the labs. Alright, so on the second floor of the labs, it's going to be these four buttons. You're going to want to hack one of them, which is going to cost 500 points. Not too expensive. And then run around, and there's going to be these four green terminals on the wall. They're going to be lit up with a green light on top. You need to hack all four of those within 60 seconds. And if you do so, uh, there you go. Right. System override. Um, now press the four buttons. That's step five. Press them within a couple of seconds of each other, and um, they'll stay lit up. All right. So now you got to let tunnel six breach, and once it's breached, head to the spawn area and hack its terminal to make the excavator leave tunnel six. Oh, who's that was close. Excavator Pi, control restored. Alright, so once the excavator's left the tunnel, there's going to be this egg that the excavator has dug up. So you want to knife the egg, and it's going to start floating around tunnel 6. So it's going to bounce off all of these walls, and it's going to come to a rest around the corner here on this, uh, on the ground. Knife it again. Hey, this is pretty fun. And it'll bounce up the stairs here. Float around in the MPL room, and then it's going to land just above these barrels. You can just Ooh, jump and knife it. Only without a club um, and, and then no you need to open ball. the doors for Other it. That, it's going to fly outside here, bounce off the railing, and fly up onto the satellite, which brings us to the next step. Step nine: with your wave gun, shoot at the satellite to knock the egg off. I knew I should have invented an egg moving robot. And it'll fly down to Tunnel 6, where you need to then continue knifing it uh, whenever it gets stuck. Right, so open the doors for it again here, and it's going to go into Tunnel 6. Bounce around, come over here to the right. Easy knife from there. Why can't we just pick this up? Good question, Richtofen. Why can't we just pick this up? Alright, so then it's going to come over here and get stuck in the roof. Um, uh, a ray gun would be recommended for this as it only takes a couple of shots in, the, in that area to get it out. But as you see, we haven't got a ray gun yet, so we just decided to use cook frags. Uh, and it doesn't really matter what sort of explosion you use, as long as you knock it out. And it's going to bounce around the stamina up room and fly through in here and get stuck on some red barrels. Now, my friend knifes it off these barrels while I wasn't recording. Um, Actually, he blew it off with some sort of explosion, I can't remember. But it's going to fly through that door off the roof there. And it's going to come around here, land in that circle in the middle, and some lightning-type lights are going to come, and then this tube is going to protrude from the side of the pyramid. That tube is the next step. You need to fill it with zombie souls. As you can see, when you kill a zombie near the tube, red mist comes out of it and is sucked up by the tube, which is represented by some blue liquid. Right, so step 11, once the tube is full, flick that switch there on the left, the tube is going to go away and the pyramid is going to open and voila, there's Samantha. And Merry Christmas everyone, 90 second death machines. Um, we didn't, we decided to stay here to watch Samantha uh, with our death machines. But what I recommend, what I would recommend is if you're not too, sh not too worried about seeing Samantha later, is just head to Earth straight away to get loads of points with those death machines. Right, so there you go, cryogenic slumber party, that's that achievement. Um, and yet to come is Big Bang Theory. Step 12, head to Earth, throw a nade over there, knock the plates off the shelf, and then throw a Gersh over to suck the plates up. And the plates will be teleported over here onto the teleporter pad, where you can then bring them back to the moon with you. Alright, so once you're here on the moon, the plates are going to be there and on the ground next to, to speed, 
uh, what is it? Quick revive. Uh, so throw a QED at them, and they're going to disappear. And they'll have actually landed over here in this machine, um, which is part of the next step. Go to the laboratories, and somewhere in the labs on the floor or in the shelves is going to be this pipe. This is where we found it near Deadshot to Kiri. Just pick it up. Perfect. This might be useful. And take it back to the spawn where you need to connect the two machines. Alright, next step, whoever is ricked off, which is just me in this gameplay, uh, stick the golden rod in between the plates, and then go over to this computer and start spamming your use button, which is X for us on Xbox. Just keep pressing it continually for about three minutes. You'll see that I left this dialogue in so you can see just how long it takes. Over, just grab the charged up golden rod, which is apparently called the real generator, I think, and take it back to the pyramid where four more tubes are going to come out, which again need filling with zombie souls, and this can get very difficult at such a high round. See, we're on round 19 by the time we finish, we're on round 15 just then and now. So it's four rounds to fill up the tube, which is surprising. So now put the Golden right in the front of the pyramid there and go over here to the switch. I'm not actually sure if I flipped it there or not, but I just left that in just to double just double check it, make sure it works. Um, and then Rick Toffin will get perma perks. Okay, come back to the spawn. There was one round of Samantha says you've got to play it three times. That's a second round, and this is the third round. I'm just gonna show you how hard it gets. Alright, so Dr. Maxis wants you to retrieve the artifact. So head down to the pyramid and throw a QED at the egg, which is now uh, slightly lopsided in, this, in the circle. And last step, go back to the computers. It's going to be the egg on the ground. Throw a Gersh at it and listen to what we have to come. Hope we're headed the right way. Launch protocol initiated. 
seconds to impact. Achievement pop. So I'd already done the Easter egg three times at this point. This is, um, I just done it with all my friends. So I already had both the achievements, and as you saw earlier, Motion Sickness, my friend, he got the Cryogenic Slumber Party before, and we just got Big Bang Theory then. So thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more soon to come.